Hello, this is a flash enrichment assignment. What we are doing is, oh, it's what does this button do? Oh, I like this better. Okay, so what this assignment is, it's a flash enrichment assignment. It is Halloween themed from today, October 29th, 2022, through Friday, November 4th, 2022, at 2.20 p.m. You may give me your top five and i try to get this in i can't do this even in my other i just disappeared entirely Ooh, spooky um top five halloween themed songs you don't have to be on camera to do it you can just record audio you don't have to record the songs just give me the list of songs we don't want to violate copyright um give me your top five halloween themed songs and you too can get optional enrichment points in my class i will have my list i actually recorded it recorded it in the wrong spot I will get it to you and put it on here shortly. So here's the assignment you have until Friday, November 4th at 2.20 p.m. to complete this assignment. Good luck. Okay, this is my response. It is the second time I've made this response because the first time I made this response, well, let's just say I put it in the wrong spot. As they say in France, oops, a. Hey. Pause for coffee because I have nine minutes and 40 seconds left of this response, but I'm not going to give you all nine minutes and 40, 36 seconds of response. My top five Halloween theme songs, like I said in the podcast, got the idea from Lori Majewski's Lust for Lists um, show on Sirius XM channel 33, First Wave. They're in First Wave's been playing all, uh, Sirius XM's been playing Halloween songs, most radio stations have been playing Halloween songs all week. So here are my top five themes. The first two, and you can't see there's two fingers. Woo! My first two um, songs are classics. So they're played a lot, especially this time of year. The first one, Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett. Boris was his nickname um, when he came out with the song because Boris Karloff. Uh, but Bobby Pickett, The Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett. Classic song came out in the 50s or maybe the 60s. Um, I got to look up the liner notes on that. It's been played for as long as I can remember, and it's played a lot this time of year. Um, funny story about that. He talked about one time when he went on a late night talk show or went on a talk show and went to sing the song, and they were playing the record in the background. Um, he was going to lip sync it, uh, which you know wasn't as common back then as it is now, uh, I'm assuming. A lot of people played live. They played the record. They played the B-side, like, you know, the 45s or the, the records that I play in, in class. They played the flip side, the back side, where it was just the instrumental, no words. So he just kind of walked around on stage and danced and made noises because there was no words on the song. He didn't want people to know that he it was lip syncing. It's kind of embarrassing, kind of funny story. The second song, my number four song, another classic came out in the 80s by a group called Oingo Boingo, fronted by Danny Elfman, who is a musical genius. Um, I don't know about the other people in the band. I'm fairly certain they are too, because they make great music, used to make great music. They split up. Danny Elfman does the theme for The Simpsons, and he scores tons of pictures and television shows. The song is Dead Man's Party by Oingo Boingo. Great song. Check it out on YouTube or Spotify or wherever you get great music. Uh, number three, number three is going to be a bit obscure for some of you, is by a group called Ministry, a uh, classic sleeper group in my mind from the 80s and 90s. Uh, Every Day is Halloween by Ministry. Great song. I don't hear it enough. I should put it in one of my playlists and play it more often, but sometimes that spoils the music. That's up there. I'm going to actually number three, number two, and number one. They could be interchangeable. All three songs are songs that whenever I hear them in, in the car or the truck, I want to sit and listen to them even if I get where I'm going. Sometimes I'll stream them or, I'll, you know, as soon as I get to where I, I can stream music, I'll pop them in and finish listening to them over my phone. Um, so number two, by a Hall of Fame group, the Ramones, Pet Cemetery, Pet Cemetery by the Ramones, number two. They are big Stephen King fans. Stephen King's a big Ramones fan. This circular fan club got them to write the theme song for the movie based on a Stephen King novel. Um, great tune. Check it out. 
And number one, classic, classic of all time, Bella Lugosi's Dead by Bauhaus. If you listen to the long version, it takes you a while to listen to, but it is a great tune. Bella Lugosi's Dead by Bauhaus, an homage to the great silent movie star, Bella Lugosi, who played in all kinds of monster pictures. Way, way back in the day, so far back, I wasn't even born yet, so you know it's old. So that is my top five, Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett. Number four, Dead Man's Party by Oingo Boingo. Number three, Every Day is Halloween by Ministry. Pet Cemetery by the Ramones is number two. And topping the list, Bella Lugosi's Dead by Bauhaus. Like I said, the top three are interchangeable. They are um, all fantastic in my book. All five songs are good. The first two are classics in my opinion. And the other three are sleeper songs um, that some people may not know about. So that is my top five. I'm looking forward to hearing yours. Take care.